Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott and welcome to Power Yoga Vitality from PY108, my 108 day power yoga program that is perfect for the intermediate level student and streaming exclusively on Inner Dimension TV. If you want to take your practice to a whole other level, click on the link at the top of the comment section to start your 10 day free trial. And keep in mind, not only will you get access to this full program, but you'll also get access to all my program series and classes, including Level Up 108, Flexibility and Beyond, Yoga Detox 30, and much, much more. Also, thank you for supporting this YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. And with no further ado, I think it's time. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you on the mat. All right, you guys, welcome to uh, Power Yoga Vitality. Let's go ahead and get started in uh, child's pose. Very often in Western medicine, vitality and health is defined as the absence of disease. Whereas in the Eastern medicine tradition, health and vitality is defined as the presence of prana, of energy, of life force. So I don't know about you, but uh, I'm definitely going to go with the definition that comes from the Eastern tradition. There's something about the absence of disease. It just seems like it's incredibly lackluster. And since we all have a short time here on this planet Earth and this human incarnation, in order to make the most of it, we want to tap into that unlimited pure energy and life force that we were, we were given as a birthright. So this class especially is going to be dedicated and devoted to tapping into what the yogis call prana and the Tao is called chi and the ancient Egyptians call Ra. And it all starts right here, right now, just by moving that breath in and out through the nose. And our breath is our, our bridge, our bridge to that that inner world of life force. So from this point on, try not to ever let an inhale go by where you're not sucking that breath down deep as can be. So from here, go ahead and extend the hands, the arms out in front of you as far as can be. Tuck the toes underneath the feet and then downward facing dog. Go ahead and draw those hips up towards the sky. And then we'll start with a nice little integrative vinyasa here just to get the energy moving a little bit. So it goes like this, slide forward to plank pose on an inhale, tabletop pose, drop the knees, exhale. Cow pose on the inhale, belly down, heart forward. And then child's pose, exhale, pull the hips back. And then back to tabletop pose on the inhale. And then that downward facing dog on the exhale. And then we flow through two more rounds of those together. Inhale forward to plank. Tabletop pose, exhale, knees lower. Cow pose, inhale, little backward bend for the spine. And then child's pose, little stretch for that lower back. Nice, you guys. Inhale back to table. And then downward facing dog, exhale, hips all the way up and back. And one more round for the power of three. Inhale forward to plank. Tabletop pose, drop the knees. Cow pose, inhale. Child's pose, exhale, working out the kinks. Back to tabletop pose on the inhale. And then downward facing dog, hold there. Take about five or so breaths, feeling free to move the body around in any way that feels good, that feels right. 
checking in with your body, checking inventory, see how your body's doing today. Every day you roll out your yoga mat, it's a different story. So what's the story today for you? And as always, just working with what's there. So working with your yoga instead of against your yoga. So often in life, we're being pulled in a million different directions, our body, our minds, our hearts are scattered, diffused. And we get onto our mat. And this is the opportunity to collect ourselves, to bring coalescence to all these different aspects of who we are. And that's usually a really good feeling. It feels good to get everything back on the same page in alignment. Take a good by inhale, draw back to the hips, stretch it a little bit deeper. And then on the exhale, walk your feet forward all the way to the top of your yoga mat. Flat back on the inhale, extend the spine up and out. And then forward fold on the exhale, open the feet out the width of the hips. And then on the inhale, go ahead and rise and fly, both arms all the way up to the sky, interlacing all the fingers except the index is steeple mudra. Take an inhale, drive down through the feet as you lift up high. And then go ahead and lean over towards the right side. Hold there for a few breaths. You know, Maya Angelou once said, learn to stand up for yourself so that then you can stand up for somebody else. So we get onto our yoga practice and we acquire that strength, we acquire that vitality, and then ultimately we can use that to be of service to others. Come back up to middle on the inhale, and then other side on the exhale, lean left, stretch across the right. Beautiful, inhale, come back up, straight, long and tall. Forward fold, exhale, just dive all the way down. Flat back on the inhale, stretch the torso up and out, find that length. And then exhale, step back to plank pose, go ahead and lower down, same exhale, slow. Cobra on the inhale, arch in that back. And then exhale back to downward facing dog, pull those hips all the way up to the sky. And then now we begin to kick it into a little bit of a deeper gear. So from down dog, slide forward to plank pose on the inhale. And then back to downward facing dog on the exhale. Inhale forward to plank pose. Chaturanga exhale, maybe you float. Plank pose, inhale, press straight up. Down dog, exhale, press straight back. This time, inhale forward to plank, and then exhale, either chaturanga or your belly. Cobra or up dog, inhale, arch that back, and then exhale, down dog, hold that. Take a nice, big, deep inhale through your nose. Side out the mouth, exhale, let it go. So the wave of your breath comes the wave of your purification, the breath cleansing those internal organs, washing away the old, drawing in the new, invoking circulation, which is the key to life, longevity, wellness, and vitality. Take a big inhale, stretch back, and then exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, spine out. Forward fold, exhale, dissolve. Circle those arms up, inhale, steeple pose, index is straight up. Take it to the right side, sweet side bend. Come back up on the inhale, to that other side, exhale. Inhale, steeple, forward fold, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Step or jump back, lower down, same exhale. Over up dog on that inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale from your down dog. Shift forward to plank pose, upper push up inhale. And then back to down dog on that exhale. Inhale to plank position. Chaturanga exhale, little strength. Plank inhale, drive up. 
Down dog, exhale, press back. Good, inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lower with control. Inhale, scoop your chest up to the sky. Exhale, down dog, hip side. Drive back on the inhale, sink in. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet forward again. Inhale, flat back, it's a sensuous flow. Forward fold, head down low. Inhale, arms up, steeple style. Take it to the right side, exhale. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, over to the left. Good, inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold, cascade. Flat back, inhale, entice the breath in. Exhale, step or jump back and lower down, vinyasa flow. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Good, one more time, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. And then down dog, exhale, feeling the surge of energy building. Inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga, exhale, hover. Inhale, press up. Exhale, press back. Beautiful. Inhale, slide forward. Exhale, lower down. Upward dog, cobra, you choose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, dig into the palms. Stretch back through the hips. Exhale, walk, jump, or fly top of your mat. Flat back. Inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms up, inhale, steeple. Take it to the right, exhale to the body, says, hey, that's enough. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, other side. Good, inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold, just a perfect touch. Inhale, because why would we do it any other way? Exhale, step or jump back, lower down in the flow. Inhale, chest high, shoulders roll. Exhale, back down, dog. Woo. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and move on from there. Inner hands still strong, palms flat like pancakes. And as you drive into those, those pancakes, take a huge inhale, stretch back. And exhale, walk or jump, top of your yoga mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees, take a seat, chair pose, reach those arms all the way up as you sit back into that invisible chair. All right, you guys, now here in this chair pose, we're gonna incorporate that Kapalabhati breathing, so a little different than breath to fire. You're gonna focus on the exhale, so breath goes out, out, out. So let's go ahead and do it. Start doing that Kapalabhati breath, skull shining breath for about 20 seconds. So if we wanna tap into that vitality and we wanna tap into our potentiality, again, your breath is the bridge. Your breath will be there to unlock almost like a key, this hidden reservoir of energy of life force that exists inside of you. The yogis have been doing this for thousands of years, and finally, now breath work's starting to get very, very popular. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take a big inhale, chair. Forward fold, exhale. Woo, flat back, inhale. Step or jump back, lower down, same exhale. Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, float the right leg up, inhale. And then bring it to the belly, exhale, engage that core. Inhale, draw that right leg back. And then exhale, flow, right foot, top of the mat, crescent pose, take both arms and reach those all the way to the sky. And then as you find your balance, take those two arms and begin to open those out wide as can be with a little bend in your elbows, but the right thigh dropping down a little bit low and the heart lifting up as high as it'll go and those shoulder blades drawing in. And it's as if your heart's expanding as wide as the world. 
prana mudra, the gesture of vitality. That's what we're here to ignite. Inhale, arms up to the sky, reach. Vinyasa, lower down with that impeccable strength. Inhale, bend the spine with impeccable sensitivity. Exhale back, down dog, left leg up, inhale. To the belly, exhale, feel the power right there in the core. Inhale, drive it back. Exhale, stick it top of the mat, crescent pose, both arms come up. Find your center, find your balance. Take those arms, open those out wide as can be, and climb your chest high to the sky. So the arms are opening out wide, and as those shoulder blades draw in, and that heart expands, it says in the Vedas, let love radiate from your heart like light from a bonfire. Feel that bonfire emanating and illuminating right there from the middle of your chest. Good, inhale, arms reach up with finesse. Exhale, get out of dodge and lower down with awareness. Good, inhale, by the way, where is dodge? Exhale back, downward facing dog. Woo! All right, everybody, let's take that. Let's turn that into a little second warm-up series flow with that prana mudra, opening that chest and opening that heart and continuing to amplify some vitality. Inner hand strong, here we go. Big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or fly, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees. Chair pose, inhale, rise up. Kapalabhati, in and out through the nose. Pump that breath rhythmically in and out through the nose. See if you can allow your belly to do all the work. So the belly's doing the activity, and then the face can stay as soft as can be. And for Kapalabhati, you're focusing here in the sinus area, almost like a simulated sneeze. And skull shining breath is what this is all about. So feel your skull shining. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Big inhale there. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, flat back like a vacuum. Let the air rush deep. Step or jump back and lower down with integrity. Inhale, bend that spine easily. Exhale, down dog, right leg up. Inhale, lift to the belly. Exhale, ignite the core. Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, flow it top of that mat. Crescent pose, inhale, light and free. Open those arms out wide as can be. Inhale, arms back up. And then vinyasa all the way down, flowing and moving like your favorite athlete. Inhale, strong but graceful. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. To those abdominals, exhale, feel the power. Inhale, now draw it back. Exhale, now flow it deep. Inhale, now lift it high. Exhale, now open it wide. Now inhale, shine. Exhale, lower down, blending the breath, the body, the heart, the mind. Inhale, it all coalesces. Exhale, down dog, one more round. Let's keep it going. Inhale, drive back. Exhale, walk or jump, top of your mat. Flat back, inhale, little bit of space. Exhale, forward fold, squat. Chair pose, inhale up. Kapalabhati, last round. Get it while you can. Let's create some yoga fireworks. Let's create some yoga alchemy. Let's mix together the asana, the pranayama, the meditation. Let's mix it all together and create a recipe for success. Keep pumping it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take a big inhale there. Exhale, forward fold. Woo, flat back, inhale. Step or jump back, vinyasa, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg up, inhale, lift. To the belly, exhale, touch. Inhale back for length. 
Exhale forward for depth. Inhale, lift in for height. Exhale, prana mudra, right. Inhale, arms are up. Exhale, vinyasa, everything lowers with control. Huge inhale, shoulders always roll. Exhale, last side to go. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, tap and touch. Inhale, pierce it back. Exhale, stick it top of the mat. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, spread wide as can be. Inhale, light like a bonfire. Exhale, all the way down, vinyasa flow. Huge inhale, breath so deep, so low. Exhale, you got it, no more to go. Woo! Oh my God, I love this class. Watching you guys flow through these movements makes me wanna do it. Take an inhale, stretch back. Relax the knees down onto the mat and then just stand on top of your two knees and for a moment, bring your hands all the way up to your hips, all the way up to your waist. Tuck the toes underneath the feet, elevate the heels just a little bit higher. And then from here, take both arms, reach those all the way up to the sky on the inhale. Keep the left arm up and then place the right hand on that right heel. So right hand, right heel, left arm stays up. And the key is, is how much length can you maintain in that lower back, that lumbar spine? Draw the tailbone down, we call this the hip wheel or the hip loops, so tailbone down. As you scoop your two frontal hip points up towards the sky. So you have less compression and more space. Take one last inhale there. Exhale, ease out, same thing on the other side. As you're ready, right arm up and left hand comes down. If you have the hand on the heel and it does feel like it's still a little bit too much for the lower back, you can always adjust the left hand up towards your left hip and your left waist. As always, just uh, tailoring the pose to what feels right for you and your body for you and your anatomy and your physiology. Now let's flow this, take one last inhale there. Exhale, ease out, switch sides, inhale. And then exhale on your own, just continue to flow there, just at your own rhythm, your own pace, your own way, just moving a few rounds. Imagining that you're moving that energy up and down the spine, from the tailbone all the way up through the top, the crown of the head. Nice, you guys, after your next little reach, as you're ready, tabletop pose, bring both hands down onto the mat, release the tops of the feet. Step back to plank pose, upper push-up position. Take a good by inhale there. And then uh, let's hold, because I almost forgot, believe it or not, that we need to do five yogi style push-ups. Can you imagine? I almost forgot. Thank God I didn't. All right, here we go. Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, plank pose, rise. Michael's happy about that. Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Good, inhale for four. Exhale, one more. Inhale, down. Exhale, rise up. Good, now hold there. Take an inhale, plank. And then lower slowly all the way onto the belly. Pause there. Bend both feet in. Reach back and grab the outer edges of your feet and your ankles. As they say, five yogi style push-ups a day keeps the doctor away. The knees open out about the width of the sit bones and then draw your shins back and start to lift your chest up. Although by the time you get to the end of this program, it'll probably need to be more like 50 push-ups a day for you guys, you'll be so strong. Good, now we're just here for a couple more breaths. So just draw the shins back, extend the heart forward just to your own degree. Take one last inhale, open up, 
and then exhale, lower everything down to the mat, releasing the legs and the feet. Take an inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. All right, bend the feet back in because we got some more work to do. Reach back and grab those feet again as we set up for our second round of bow pose. So as you're ready, just start to lift up. This time we're here for the count of 10. The first one was the count of five. Pace yourself for one. Pull the heart out for two. Draw the shins back for three. Remember to breathe for four. Good, nice and easy for five. I open out wide for six. My face is soft for seven, and my mind stays in heaven for eight. Open a little more for nine. Take one last inhale wide for 10. Exhale, lower everything down to the ground, release. Take another big inhale through the nose. Side out the mouth, let it go. All right, you guys, one more round. Bend those feet back in for the power of three. Reach back, it's vitality. Grab those feet, grab those feet, and then lift to your own degree. This time we're here for the count of 15. So now you really gotta pace yourself for two. Good, don't let the knees open out too wide for three. Keep them the width of the hips for four. Good, mind stays calm for five. Good, as you awaken the spine for six, and you open the lungs and the heart for seven, and you take advantage of the space for eight by breathing so deep for nine. Good, and climaxing for 10, cause you're almost there for 11. Flower open for 12. Good, let it shine for 13. That light like a bonfire for 14. Take one last inhale for 15. Exhale, lower slowly down. Woo! Hands next to the ribs, cobra position. The journey continues. Inhale, chest up. As they say, no rest for the wicked. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. Take an inhale, drive the hips back. I hope you're enjoying your yin yoga practice right now. Exhale, walk or jump, both feet top of the mat. It's like you're doing yin in your mind, but power in your body. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. From here, toe balance, start to bend the knees, sit back onto the heels, bring the hands to prayer position in front of your chest. So there is a little bit of balance as you take care of the most loyal servant that we ever could have had, our feet carrying our body so graciously through this, this mysterious life of being a human. From here, allow the knees to drop down onto the mat in front of you, but keep the toes tucked underneath because again, we wanna to touch those areas so no stone is left unturned. Some of you, it may be fine to stay like this, but some of you may wanna go deeper by leaning back and bringing the hands onto the mat behind you onto the floor, fingertips turned away from you. And you start leaning back and you just deepen that stretch. And you send some awareness, you send some of that breath all the way down into your feet and your toes. You take care of these body parts and they take care of you. That's just the way that it works. But when you neglect these body parts, they start neglecting you. Things I feed become stronger, the things that I neglect become weaker. Now, if you're leaning back, slowly ease your way all the way back up. Pop the knees off the ground, bring the hands back to prayer, reversing what you just did. Toe balance. Good, now interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out, lift those arms up overhead. Take a good by inhale, lift it a little high. Hands to the ground, straighten the legs, the knees and the thighs as you fold over and down. Flat back, inhale, spine up and out. Forward fold, exhale. Circle those arms all the way up to the sky, upward salute. Hands to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. 
Now from here, go ahead and step your right foot all the way to the back of your yoga mat. Turn the left foot in parallel to the right. So now you're facing over towards the right side of the space. Flick the heels in, point the toes out, bend the knees and squat down deep, horse stance, as we now set up for the wheel of vitality. So it goes like this, inhale, open the arms, open the hands, and then exhale, palms back together. Bring the hands up to the sky, inhale, and then bring it down to the earth on the exhale, lean back by your right foot, and then come up the left side, inhale, sweep up, and then exhale, sweep down. Reverse that, inhale up the right, and then exhale, come down, same exhale, rise all the way back up, hands to prayer, round two. Inhale, move the energy out, and exhale, move the energy in. Inhale, move it up to the sky, exhale, move it down to the earth as you lean to the right. Inhale, sweep up the left, exhale, get loose. Inhale, light like the wind, Exhale, come down, hands to prayer. One more round of these. Inhale, open. Exhale, consolidate. Inhale to the heavens. Exhale, down to the earth. Inhale, circle it around. Exhale, over and down. Inhale, other way. And exhale down, hands back to prayer position in front of the chest, in front of the heart as you hold there, last five. Sit deep into that fire for four. Good, embrace the fire for three. Bend those knees deep for two, and two, and two. Take one last inhale there. Straighten those legs, kick the heels out, feet parallel to each other, arms out wide. Oh, inhale, big lean back, look up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way down to the ground. Oh, good everybody. We're gonna crawl the hands back there by that right foot and come into Skandasana. So you're gonna turn the right toes towards the back a little bit and then bend the right knee as you draw your left leg straight. And then you're balancing there on your left heel. Now this is a deep, deep kind of martial arts stretch that's also used. So option to keep the hands as is, or even bring the hands to prayer position in front of the heart with your right elbow and that inner right knee. You could extend your left arm straight out in front of you above that left leg. Sometimes people even come into a bind, a wrap, where they reach the right arm around that right shin and the left hand around the back. And we do have some amazing yoga teachers in this class. Some of them could even lift the feet off the ground right now. There they go. I saw it, Michael did it. Michael did it. We got Michael here. We got Aaron back there, Denise, Brittany, interdimension TV teachers in the house. Check their classes out. Amazing teachers. Everybody else is really cool too. Good, let's skandasana to the other side. So shift that weight forward towards that front left foot, bend that left knee. We got an amazing community. And not just in this room, but all around the world, people are getting on their mats and they're taking care of business day after day after day, ready to do their part to make an impact in the world. Because the world certainly needs it right now. Need you to be your best. Need you to show up. And need you to let go of the things that are no longer serving. Nice, you guys. Both hands down to the ground, runner's lunge. Pivot onto the back right toes. Face the top of your yoga mat. And then left foot comes back to plank, upper push up on the inhale. And then lower down, slow exhale. Cobra up dog, big inhale wide. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, inhale. And then right foot top of the mat on the exhale. The back foot spins flat. And then warrior one, inhale both arms up to the sky. 
Keep your chest facing forward to the front, but open those arms back out nice and wide. Take the left arm, bring it underneath and around that right arm so you snake those arms around each other. And then on an inhale, lean back, draw the elbows up to the sky, and then drop your torso down towards your inner right knee, right leg, right thigh, and how about a little bit of shoulders and hips? You know, we could use the metaphor of a garden hose, and when the garden hose gets kinked up, the water can't flow through. Same thing in our body. In common areas that the energy, the vitality gets kinked up is in the hips and the shoulders, which are some of the most important joints in the body. And right now you're loosening it up so the energy can flow freely and abundantly. Now, warrior one, big inhale, rise up as you unravel those arms and reach. And then vinyasa lower all the way down with that upper body strength. Huge inhale, the breath deep as can be. Exhale, downward facing dog, left leg up, inhale. Top of your yoga mat, exhale, back foot flat, Vira Bhadrasana one, rise and find that warrior spirit. Good, keep the chest facing forward, open those arms out wide, take the right arm and slip it underneath and around that left arm. And then on a beautiful inhale, draw the elbows up and lean back. And then on a beautiful exhale, take the plunge deep into the left hip, deep into the shoulders. Good, and bring a little bit of pliability into those areas of your body. That's it, now dig into that left heel and then warrior one, inhale, both arms come up and reach. And then vinyasa all the way down, elbows in, weight forward, core engaged. Cobra up dog, inhale, arch that back. And then exhale back to downward facing dog, let's flow that. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, right foot deep, back foot flat. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. And then left arm underneath and around the right arm wrap. Inhale, now lean back. Exhale, drop down, inner right thigh. Warrior one, inhale, both arms come up. And then vinyasa all the way down on that exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, rise, solid base. And then right arm underneath and around the left arm. Inhale, lean back, elbows high. Exhale, drop down, inner thigh. Inhale, come back up, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa all the way down. Good, inhale, make it count. Exhale, one more round of these. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot flows. Inhale, rise with levity. Exhale, wrap, left arm under, around right. Inhale, elbows a little high. Exhale, torso a little low. Inhale, arms reach high as they'll go. Exhale, lower down in that yoga flow. Inhale, also in that yoga zone. Exhale, down dog pose, left leg up, inhale. Flow it deep, exhale. Inhale, rise, reach up. Right arm underneath and around the left. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, drop and explore the hip. Good, inhale, now finally rise and lift. Exhale, vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, bhujang asana. Exhale, no more asana. Woo! Good job, you guys. Those, those are now history. And by the way, this is your last downward facing dogs. Take a last few breaths as they give those whoops throughout the class. The whoops of joy, thank God, last down dog. 
It's like at the end of an hour-long meditation when that bell rings, you're like, oh, thank God, I did it. Take an inhale, press those hips back, and then relax the knees down onto your yoga mat. Stand up on top of your two knees. And then for a moment, bring your hands up to your hips, your waist, just making sure that the knees are opened out about the width of the hips, maybe even the tad wider. And with the thumbs pressing into that lower back, see if you can again encourage that tailbone to draw down. Beautiful, now bring the thumbs right underneath the arms, fingertips to the sky, lift the thumbs up as if you're trying to draw your sternum up away from your sacrum and create a little bit more length in that spine. Keeping all of that, either bring your hands to the lower back or hands back towards the heels, camel pose, ustrasana. As you come into that camel pose, just make sure that the head doesn't crank all the way back, chin slightly tucked down and in so that it's a backward bend and not a neck bend. Take advantage of all that space you've created in your chest, huge penetrating inhales. Last final inhale there, and then exhale, come all the way back up. Bring the hands down onto the ground, tabletop pose, all fours position as you release the tops of the feet. From here, crawl the knees forward towards the top of your yoga mat, cross the feet behind you. Extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Bring the sole of your right foot to the inner left thigh, half butterfly, Janu Shirsasana, we call it in Hatha Yoga. Inhale, arms up to the sky, little twist over to the left. And then exhale, fold over and down to your own degree. There was a story of a bear in a zoo that paced about 15 feet in her small enclosure for many, many years. And finally, the zoo got some funding and the ability to spread the bear's habitat by quite a bit, putting in trees and even a small pond. But sadly, the bear continued to pace those same exact 18 feet as it had done for many, many years, never taking advantage of all the, the extra space. And it's similar to how they, they also mistreat elephants and they train the elephants as a baby, tying them to a stump. And the elephant thinks that it can never go away from the stump and eventually it gets older and they're even able to cut the cord to cut the rope, but the elephant still stays close proximity to what it's known its whole life. It's sad in the animal kingdom, but it's also sad in the human kingdom, how we too limit ourselves in so many different ways. when there's so much more potential. And the thing about it is the thing that's keeping us back, that's holding us back, doesn't even exist outside of us, it exists inside of us. Our own fear, our own limiting beliefs and limiting thoughts keep us stuck in those same cycles, those same patterns. But maybe if we awaken that vitality and that energy and that power that this program for 108 days is all about, then maybe we can break out of our own limiting enclosure. And we expand and we expand and we expand. And then we can help others do the same. Slowly ease your way all the way back up. 
Bring the right hand to the outer right knee and then guide the right knee to face the sky. Extend the right leg straight along the mat as we come into the same thing other side. So sole of the left foot high to that inner right thigh. Arms up to the sky, inhale a little twist over to the right. And then exhale, fold over and down, Janu Shir Sasana. Janu is the knee, Shears is the head, and Asana means pose, but it also means seated quietly inside. So imagine you get into these poses and you're taking a seat on your own throne. And you're watching all the comings and goings of sensations within the field of the body, thoughts moving across the sky of the mind, Emotions arising and passing within the ocean of your own heart. But you do so with awareness, never becoming ensnared by those thoughts or sensations or feelings or emotions. Because anything that comes and goes doesn't define who you really are because what defines who you really are is beyond a box or a label. My age, my occupation, my nationality, my ethnicity, those are just labels. And although they do matter in some ways and in some forms, we can't forget who we truly are. Beautiful. From here, slowly ease your way all the way back up. Bring the left hand to the outer left knee. Guide the left knee to face the sky. Extend that left leg straight out in front of you along the floor. Come all the way down onto your back. Grab your shins, draw your knees into your belly. Give a little hug. Maybe give that lower back a little gentle rock side to side. And then both feet flat on the ground about the width of the hips, setting up for bridge pose. Said to Bandhasana as you're ready. Press it to the feet, lift the hips up, tuck the shoulders underneath and in. Get your hands set wherever that feels right for you. And then breathe into the belly as you watch the expansion and the inevitable contraction. And in the same way that the breath expands and contracts, day and nighttime expand and contract. They come and go. Seasons that come and go. experiences that come and go, relationships that come and go, finances that sometimes surge, finances that sometimes dwindle. Sometimes we feel energetic, sometimes you feel fatigued. This is the nature of being human. We live in duality. And you can't have one without the other. So whether we're in expansion or contraction, the wisdom traditions teach us to be equanimous through it all. Feel free to stay here and bridge if you'd like, or if you'd like a deeper backward bend, upward bow, you can position the hands back by the ears, fingers face forward. Once you get that good grip, feel free to come all the way up to upward bow pose, Ordva Dhanurasana. Staying in bridge pose, if that's feeling like it's your perfect spot. And if you like to come up onto the tips of the toes, last couple of breaths there. 
inner thighs spiraling towards each other as you take one last inhale, full expression, and then exhale lower slowly all the way back down. Beautiful. Grab your shins, draw your knees, draw your thighs into your belly. Slide the hands down the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet. And happy baby pose, lift the soles of the feet up to the sky. And then draw those thighs down, sink into those hips. Good, bring the knees back together to the belly. And then gently rock your legs all the way up over your head towards the back of the space to plow pose. If you'd like to modify, feel free to have a block close by. You can always take a supported shoulder stand with the block underneath the lower back or supported bridge as well. And then when you're ready, bring the hands to the lower back for support. Lightly float both legs all the way up to the sky, inverting the body upside down, stacking the ankles above the knees, the knees above the hips, and then the hips right above the triceps so that the weight as it comes down lands in the triceps, the elbow and shoulder region as opposed to the neck. But you guys, staying upside down, bring the soles of the feet together, toes up, knees out, little diamond shape. In honor of this multifaceted modality of yoga, dressing every dimension of who we are, the body, energy, the mind, the heart, awareness, and soul. Both legs back up to the sky, inhale. Plow pose on the exhale, legs back up over the head. Extend the arms straight out in front of you along your yoga mat. And when you're ready, slowly roll out through every vertebra of your spine until the lower back touches down onto the mat. Grab the shins, draw the knees back in. Keep the right knee in, extend the left leg straight out in front of you and then open the right arm out to the right. Take the right knee all the way over to the left into a last reclining spinal twist. Good. Bring the right knee all the way back up to neutral. And before we move to the other side, circle the right thigh a few times in a clockwise direction. Almost like you're stirring a, a big bowl of soup in that hip. And then the other direction as you're ready. bowl of synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid and a bunch of other good stuff in there. And then as you're ready, left knee draws in, right leg extends out, left arm opens out to the left, and then left knee drapes all the way over to the right. Same thing on the other side.
Ah, and then left knee all the way back up to center. Circle that left thigh around. The other direction as you're ready. Good, and then both knees back into the belly, back into the chest. And you made it. On a big inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees. Give your whole body one last big hug, one last big squeeze. And then exhale, Shavasana. Open your legs, open your arms out. Take those first few moments to get comfortable, to get settled so that you feel so comfortable, you don't even want to move your body. You feel so perfectly placed. And then you just sink into stillness. Take a last couple of minutes. Shavasana. Body from here, nice and easily. Nice and gradually, just bringing the awareness back into the body. Of course, bringing with you whatever it is that you just dropped into. From here, we're gonna say that this practice is officially complete. That's it for this one. Keep showing up, stay strong, stay empowered. Thank you for your practice and a little bit of homework for you. See if you can take all that goodness and all that vitality and all that benevolence that you just dropped into and go out and spread it through the rest of your day, spread it through the rest of the world. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Good job.
Hey guys, congratulations. You made it through that practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Drop a comment down below and let me know how your flow was. And also, if you want to participate in the full 108 days, remember to start your 10-day free trial by clicking that link, and that'll take you to Inner Dimension TV. That's it for this one. I hope we get to do it again soon. Until then, many blessings and be well.